Hi, my name is Sam. I'm an undergraduate researcher at WashU and I'm at the Tyson Research Center. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a tick flag, so come along with me as I go into the forest and do one. So this is the forest geoplot. This is like a global collaboration with Forest Geo where they census every tree in this like X by X meter plot. Um, and I did one of my tick drags and there this summer, and that is where I found the Longhorn set. So we're gonna go back to the same spot. All right, now we are in the forest. We walked in about 10 minutes and we are at one of my sites from this past summer. Over there we have our pawpaw patch and then another site here outside of it. And I found this summer that ticks really, really love the pawpaw patch. And we found significantly more ticks inside of the patches than right outside them. Um, and this area right here is actually where I found the longhorn tick in St. Louis County as the first occurrence. And so now we're gonna do a repeat flag and see what we find. So as it starts to get warmer, we're gonna see a, an increase in adult ticks and also some nymphs. And so that's something to look out for. And especially in the hot summer months, like June or July, you're gonna see a lot of nymphs. Get it right up. And this, I think, is the most efficient way to get ticks off of you, especially if they haven't embedded themselves, um, because ticks can be really hardy, especially the smaller nymphs, and it's really hard to kill them or crush them. And flushing them down the toilet, down, down the toilet isn't always, you know, it's not 100 percent. They can always come back up. So I think this is, the, I think this is the best way to get ticks, and then keep them in place until they eventually die. environmental characteristics at our site when we took the drag and then I'll take off the shit the ticks on it just got three we'll both put it in this bag and then bring it back to the lab put it in the freezer I learned once they're in there for a little bit, we'll be able to take them out, pick them out with tweezers, and identify them under the microscope. Now it's gonna go in my bag. So if you're interested in anything that I did today or being outside, learning about nature, doing research in nature, um, Tyson is a great place for that. And yeah, get involved. It's a great way to see what you're interested, see what you're passionate about, um, and spend some time outside.